the afternoon play on day one. The Australian Men's Interstate Series for 2015, Queensland taking on Tasmania. Cool conditions once again in the afternoon with a bit of rain. Blake Proverbs for Queensland playing his first match. Just flew in 24 hours earlier from China where he's competing in the China Open European Tour event. He was playing Cameron Bell. He made a birdie there on the eighth hole, but Blake was five up after six in this match and didn't let his foot off the throttle. Nice approach shot there at the 13th and he'd go on and win five and four. Nathan Gatehouse led all the way against Simon Vitikangas. That was a great trap shot on the 12th. Simon unable to convert his birdie putt and he'd go down four and three. To the eighth hole, Anthony Quayle. Great pitch there, set up a birdie, allowed him to go one up. He found the water at the 17th, one up at the time. It was an important match for Queensland. Great recovery shot to set up a chance at par. He was playing Andrew Phillips, who was in an awful spot up against the fence, played this incredible shot just to get it there on the fringe of the green. But unfortunately, Phillips with three putt, and that gave Quayle the win, two and one. Jack Sullivan bouncing back from his defeat in the morning. Bit of rain here on the eighth. Doesn't stop him from knocking in that great curling putt for birdie. Things are dried out a few holes later. This is the 12th. Terrific bunker shot. He was three up at the time and he'd go on and win his match three and one. Over Mark Shaw's. So that's three in for Queensland. Jake McLeod on the eighth. Nice approach shot, short par four. Great risk and reward hole, set up a birdie. That put him one up. Players trying to stay warm. It was a very tight game he had against Mitch Van Noord. It was all square after 16, and that was a putt for a half. So Jake went one down after 17. Players walking up the 18th. They both missed the green. And Van Noord hit this terrific little chip to gimme distance. And he'd take the match one up. That's two now for Tasmania. One of the most amazing games we'll see this week, Sam Rawlings. Great bunker shot of the 11th. He was dominating Corey Crawford, four up after 12. Crawford got a couple of holes back, was still two down though with two to play. Hit this great lag putt on the 17th. Set up a par, one down, one to play. And another great lag putt here at 18. That set up a par, but Rawlings had this for par to win the match one up. Catches a fair piece of the hole. The Crawford wins four of the last six holes. Gets away with a square. Gets Queensland to three and a half. An important half point that was. One match left. All we need is a square. Taylor McDonald playing Greg Longmore. Out of a plug lie there at the third. This was another close game. Hardly anything in it all day. It was all square playing the last. So important Taylor hit the green. And he did just that. Crowd looking on. Every other match finish. The pressure was on Longmore. He missed the green long. Putted to there. And unfortunately, he would make a bogey. And so that meant Taylor McDonald, this putt for par, wins the match one up. It's four and a half, two and a half for Queensland. An important result after this morning's loss to Victoria.